Well, I just made a deal on some new motors. All right, well, they're not new, but they're new to me. Check these out. E-Tech electric motors. And it has this hydraulic thing to lift them up. So there's two of them. And I am really excited. These things are sweet. So they're gonna finish removing all the other components out of it, the throttle and uh, the, uh, the controller and all of that and the wires. And once they do, I'm gonna come back and pick it up and then I will have electric motors for the boat. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, I finally made it back up to Connecticut. Oh my God, I've driven like 4,000 miles in the past three or four days. It's ridiculous, but I'm here with Derek. Um, he got all the stuff out of the boat, all the electric motors and all the stuff I need. So he's gonna tell us what, what all this is. All right, so your quick walkthrough is you have a couple different systems. This is your motor controller. And this is what um, controls this motor down here on the pod. Mm -hmm. So you have it wired into a 48 volt bus, of course, all properly fused, but the positive comes into this side of the contactor, negative comes over here, and so you power that with 48 volts, so that all needs to be set up properly from the battery bank with all the right fuses and stuff, so you'll need to make the wires, um, you know, to get your power from the batteries up to here. Okay. And then these are your phase cables. Okay, so there's three of them, it's the three phase? Yeah, they line up with these phase cables here on the motor. Okay. And then these are your different control ports. So there's like a control hub in here you can open up and like see how it's all wired. Uh-huh. But they go out through these guys to extend as extensions to hook up to the screen, to hook up to the regen, and to hook up to the throttle. And the other thing to keep in mind too is the throttle here those are where your um, key ignition switches go to, and they're attached to the throttle. Mm. So let's just keep that in mind. These are on off for the whole system. Okay. So you could put them to a switch or you could put them to a button. These guys here are uh, DPDS switches, double throw, double pull. And so they're, they're instant switches. And they run these relays. So the switch, controls the relay and then the relay controls the tilt here and this guy and so those relays end up controlling these guys here gotcha and so it's not the way i would have set it up but it basically these act as a re as reversing relays so it's a little complex and you'll need to experiment with it a little bit i could try to explain it to you i guess but the only real way to figure it out is to experiment to some extent. I feel like I'll be calling you at some point through this install. Yeah. If you lay it all out, it makes sense. These smaller wires are the control wires, and these larger wires are the conductor. Um, and some labels are on here, too. Nice. That should helpfully make it relatively easy to figure out which way goes where. And then you can see these ones were the positives because you got the red still on the clamp there okay and then these ones here because they're running through these guys these are what were powering the system for the tilt so this was the negative for the tilt this was the positive for the tilt so this powers the system these wires here go up to these switches mm -hmm. and so if you trace back which way they go you can see that like the power is coming in on the purple so the purple would end up here uh -huh. and then when you put it here the power would come down to this guy and so then that would come back to one of these guys here so that when you go this way it activates this relay and that puts the power to here you know like basically when you're switching the directions you're switching the polarity here okay so one of these is moving it up one of these is moving it down port and starboard Cool. You know, and you can figure that out pretty quick. You don't have to, you can just do, test it with a multimeter. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be able to hear these guys click too. Awesome. So, you, so once you power it up, you'll be able to see. But one other thing to keep in mind, these guys, these power cables here, mm -hmm. well, we'll have to figure that out, what voltage they're supposed to be at. 
still need to do a little research to find out what voltage this guy's supposed to be. Okay. But the way they're set up now is to be powered at 12 volts. Gotcha. Um, this is a little 40 amp, it looks like a little Yeah, that'll be okay. Breaker. Yeah, so just keep in mind that, you know, this system here is powered at 48. Uh-huh. These guys here say that they're 12 volt uh, coils. So at least the control line, the, what goes through them for power, what goes through them here, mm -hmm. can be h higher voltage, you know, potentially. But the way they're wired together makes me think that it's all supposed to be 12. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, that's most of it. You know, Sweet. figuring out how all these wires hook up. One <laughs> other thing to keep in mind too is these networks are weird. Uh huh. And so there may be some of them if you open this up that have terminators inside of them. Uh, let's look here and see if we can find one that has a terminator in it. But anyways, mm. you might open up, you know, you might need to open up some of these to find out where they go. Uh, but for the most part, it actually looks like they all have labels on them. I think there was one that was cut and I have to put one of these clamps back on, I think. There's That's what Tyler was saying. Oh, uh, right here. Yeah, it's not cut. It's just before it was hooked up through RJ45, and so there's, there's this one here. See, it's split off, and it comes over to here. Okay. And so you just need, you can do, you can put them together however you want to put wires together. There's a little box upstairs that was connected in before, uh -huh. but I wouldn't use that again. It was kind of a rinky dink piece solder them back not solder but butt in connectors okay or i mean because you can like strip this back a little ways it's probably just like wide in here and this would be one that could likely have a terminator inside of it let's check yeah there's no terminator in there but so, one some of these you'll see that there's a little there's going to be like a 120 ohm resistor if you open them up okay um and you want you're going to want those to go like Anyways, probably where they're supposed to go, but it's annoying that you don't, can't actually see them. But they're just terminating the CAN network. Um, but yeah, basically this guy's the crossover here to the. It looks like it goes over to the port side here. So, you know, if you just colors to colors, okay, and it looks like the brown. There's no gray on this side, so I assume it's not supposed to be there, but it may be that it goes to something else, but it's probably an extra one. Yeah, so one side has five, one side has six. Looks like it drops the gray. Um, but anyways, that's something that hopefully that will make sense once you hook everything else up. Yes. So what does the uh, this display show? I don't know. All right. I've never run it. I've never done any tech system before. You mainly do ocean bolt? Yeah, and I built my own systems, and I've repaired a lot of systems, like torpedoes and stuff like that. Sweet. But I've probably done most of ocean bolt by far. Nice. Oh man! All right. But yeah, there it's all there. You just have to figure out how to put it together. But I think <laughs> I think that's a good mission for you, though, because then you'll at least understand what's going on. Right. I definitely want to put it in so I know mm -hmm. how it all goes in and troubleshoot when I need to. Yeah. And just the main thing is, you know, 48 volt positive, 48 volt negative, and then from there you can't do too much wrong. I think, it, I think this is the, yeah, this is the post that it wants you to make right there to B minus. This guy's B plus, but you got to come over here first. And so when you get it all hooked up, this switch here will turn on when you close this circuit here. So when these two guys close, you know, wait a second, you can hear this guy go click click. Nice. And then, then you got it wired up right. This is going to help a lot when uh, it's three months from now and I've forgotten everything. I can go back and review this video. Thing two on here 
This guy's definitely what comes from the engine. And so this one's marked and this one isn't marked. But hopefully they're the same. I'm sure I'll figure it out. You may have an extra wire in here too that you can take apart to put here. Okay. You know, there may be an extension that he needed that you won't need. Nice. So you'll have extra ends on, you know. My guess would be that the equivalent of this guy, and it probably doesn't matter, goes into one. The other one goes into two for the screen. And then this guy here, which you may or may not need, ultimately ends up here on what looks like a U, but I think might also be a C. So use these extensions to get it there from the helm. But this thing, this circuit, okay. you probably won't need. Take it anyways, but it's to turn on hydrogen, which until you get a sailboat, won't necessarily be required. Yeah, I don't know how much regen I'll do, but yeah. But anyways, unless I'm getting towed by a uh, towboat US, then I'll throw that regen on. Yeah. Oh, exactly. <laughs> well, let's hope that doesn't happen. That should be everything, I think. Cool. Oh, this is awesome. This helps a lot because in a couple months when I install this, I'm probably going to forget everything you said and I can go back and review this video and then I won't have to call Derek as much. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Dang, look at these ocean volt motors. They're all mounted and ready to go. That's awesome. These are sweet. Right, I am out of here. This is awesome. I am so glad I got these motors. This is crazy. Now it's time to drive through the night and drop these motors off and pack the car and take off out west because I am driving to California tomorrow.